This is my AC45 K43. Just wanted to upload a short video showing some uh, features on this rifle. I picked this rifle up at a uh, local flea market of all places. It's non import marked. As far as I can tell, original. All numbers match. Really good shaped rifle. Finish appears to be very well. This is a late war gun. It's a B block serial number, so probably around March or uh, February or March, maybe. Production. You can see is a. Late war rifles have a very uh, crude looking uh, machined parts, uh, specifically the bolt and the uh, gas block here. This rifle, being a late war, was the uh, improved and simplified version of the uh, bolt takedown. It does not have the uh, little lever on the side for the takedown. Um, if you watch videos on how to take that bolt out, um, for the first version, you uh, and you try to do that with this version, it doesn't work very well. Uh, they simplified the takedown and uh, the bolt carrier so the parts didn't fall out when you took it apart to clean it. Um, don't be uh, don't be confused by simplification for uh, speed. They actually improved the version. This was an improvement on the rifle and, and, and not just a simplification. Of course, it has a scope rail on this side here, like most all of them do. When I bought the rifle, it had the, uh, it did not have a shooter's kit installed in it. And when I took it apart, they, if I found that the uh, gas piston and tube assembly was somehow jammed together, corroded together. So all of that was removed and um, put a shooter, shooter's kit in. Um, it took a little tuning, but once I put the shooter's kit in, we were able to function it just fine. And I'll uh, show that here in just a second. These rifles were mainly issued on the uh, Eastern Front. And uh, reliability was a, a, a big factor into these guns. And what the Germans did was they uh, horribly overgassed these rifles to ensure that they cycled. Um, their thought process behind this was that uh, the um, rifle would outlive the soldier. So... Um, You'll see damage on these rifles uh, on the gas blocks here and on the back side where the bolt's been slamming back. Luckily, this one uh, did not have any damage that I could see. Um, the shooter's kit's very simple. It comes with the uh, spring and the rods and the actual cylinder here for the piston. And it comes with a new piston that screws into the gas block up here. Um, the... the uh, the adjustable part of this is a small Allen head bolt screw that goes into this piston right here that has a small orifice in it. And they give you several different sizes of Allens and based on which ammunition you're firing. Um, the proper way to do this is to start with the uh, screw that has the smallest orifice in it and work your way up. Um, so I started with the smallest orifice, which let the least amount of gas through. And um, you fire your ammunition, and if it does not cycle, you step it up to the next size orifice. And I'm going to demonstrate that here in, in a video in just a second.
I think I better step it up. Look at there. So as you see from the um, range video, it was a pretty easy process. I, uh, I had to step up to the third orifice when the rifle started fi finally cycling correctly. And um, it's been a great shooter since then. I don't shoot this rifle very often just because of how expensive parts are for them. And um, I do believe this rifle is, is somewhat of a delicate, uh, delicate piece of machinery, whereas most of the other rifles during World War II we're not quite as delicate, so I try to take care of this one. But uh, I do enjoy it from time to time, and it is one of the prized pieces in my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if uh, you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And um, I'll be reviewing the M91, the new uh, Zestava M91 rifles, in one of my next videos. Surplus bill out.